Hi, welcome you guys. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. We're going to go over some basic charting skills that you are supposed to know before you get into any trade, which allows you to identify if either you're going to buy or sell. Okay, so just very simple. This is really good for beginners because in beginners, there's a lot of videos that show you so many levels of charting and people get confused. And I'm just going to make it as simple as I can, as fast as I can, so you don't get mixed up of what's going on. So this is try to do this really just imply this into your trading and it will help you out a lot Just keep in minimum levels. Just just understand the market and I'm going to show you that in this video So let's get started just to get it over with really yes, I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can All right, so let's see how this goes support and resistance first off what is the support support or support level refers to the price level that an asset does not fall below which is meaning the stock of a period of time it is a price level where a downtrend can be suspected to pause due to a concentration of demand meaning, meaning buyers are interested all right so support and resistance and supply and demand is way different don't get that confused just in case you already know about supply and demand we're going to go over support and resistance just in this video later on i am going to go over supply and demand also and how it's used but so far it's just supporting resistance don't get confused okay so supporting resistance that's basically the support is where buyers are at buyers remember support is buying they're supporting the stock to move up okay so resistance what is resistance resistance or resistance level refers to the price level where it could be stopped in a uptrend and brought back down meaning sellers are expected to be there okay so don't Meaning the the price is gonna be rejecting at that area where the resistance is at. Does it happen all the time? No. Support does it bounce all the time, which is a bounce? No. That's why you have to have confirmation with other things like trend lines, candles. But most of the time, you do want to get a lot of touches in that area in order to know it's a hard level, which is what I'm gonna go through now. The number of touches. The more time the price test or support of that resistance area, the more significant that level becomes meaning it's going to become a strong level when the price keep bouncing off a supporter resistance level more than likely buyers and sellers are noticed and will be based trading decisions on those levels that's where you have to wait and use price action and everything which is not that hard candlesticks i have a video about that also and that's when you buy or sell your position or if you want to wait for it to drop below support which i'm going to go over now basically it's just this right resistance levels the price found the support here, right? You can see how it held. Buyers at that circle, buyers here, buyers here. Why? Because it kept moving the price up back to this range. There's a whole range. Price rejected down from here, right? And then you sell again. So you were able to buy on this area, sell on top, buy and sell, buy and sell. This is the thing that when you're looking at the smaller time frames as a day trader, you will get chopped up, uh, meaning that you will find so many excess and entries on the smaller time frame but i'm gonna allow you to you're gonna be allowed here to use not allow you but you're gonna be allowed to use the smaller time frame i mean the bigger time frame in order for you to get what you want and expect that move so if you're are an options trader like i am just get a bigger time frame and this, this is not called swing trading swing trading is where you hold it overnight this is basically just getting a contract the week out so in order for you to follow the price and look at the chart and don't get so jittery when you see a red uh p your red p and l you know so let's go let's get to it just real fast okay so this right here i have amd right we went back in time i have a replay just back in time as much as i can so basically like how i was saying earlier resistance will be red and support right so it doesn't matter what color just just keep it as simple as i can don't get it told so so crazy of what's going on with the stock it just breaks and it goes to the next one basically it'll do something like this right you sell at the top and then you break maybe come back to retouch and it'll start doing this right so once since you notice that this area here was already a resistance right resistance resistance again so you expect it to come again and become resistance right but what happened it broke out of this resistance just to show you I'll put res for resistance resistance and support sup right so it broke out of the resistance came back to retouch so what happens 
when then comes back to retouch that means this price you look at the price the market is, is based off all prices that's all it is 57.78 is where they were interested to sell before right put a little more up they were interested to sell around this area also don't get it to be exact sometimes the stock stops around here that means they're just pushing the price a little bit lower and they're decreasing the interest into that 57.78 area i can see the number here so once it broke out what happened obviously once it breaks out you got to get out of that position if you bought a uh along here if you went long or bought a call at support right so now what does this happen with this resistance this becomes green now after that touch this touch here becomes green why because buyers came in and they made this a support now so now this became support support on put up but that was their support came back up to resistance and did the same thing so now we're going to look at these levels at I'm gonna chart amd for you so on amd what i want to do is go to the weekly a lot of people go to the weekly which you're supposed to go to the weekly to find what's going on right on the weekly sometimes depending on what ticker you're using it's really really wild how it looks so so far don't make it so crazy and start charting what you want to see is the price movements that go crazy and sing up like right here this area this candle right you see it's so green it's obvious see it green it stops around here right and then it starts creating a level around this area starts trading around this range right so you see that so what happens is that this area where they bought up pushed it up came back down and stopped here so you can put a level right exactly there and put it green for the support and then what happens it comes back up and where did it stop around here where do you see it commonly stopping around this 114 area right so how do you where do you put it on the candle closure or on the wick before that question comes in i usually try to find a candle like this big in order to know that that's where it broke out right so if you notice i will put it right around there that's my resistance right you you don't remember the more touches one two touches three touches then it broke out right this just shows one touch it doesn't count it does not count so now you can see on the weekly it was moving around this section right the weekly so then now let's go up again where did it stop around here it bounced which is going the price is going up so we put another level there another resistance where i'm going based off of this section resistance resistance we go back up we find another area here for a resistance right but this resistance became came down became supply came back up right but now I'm, co I'm calling it resistance because look at where we're at. We're right about here. Okay. So now that's the weekly. We found some good ones on the weekly. We go to the daily. So now when you go to the daily, you want to be able to see how does it look. Look how smooth it looks. And what I mean by smooth is that the range that we were predicting earlier, right? Like it goes, it, it go, the same picture that I sent, right? This one broke out. Look what happened. It broke out, but when it retested, right? When this came back to retest, what happened? It didn't hold. It did not hold. We were expecting this and then maybe break out, right? But it didn't hold. It literally came back down and it started dropping back back close to the area of the 100s. So just by looking at it, you see that they never held. So then it came back down and I was doing this again. Okay. So now you would have bought the bottom. You're saying it's gonna come back up. So now what happens? It broke out, right? This resistance became what now? Support. See, it bounced, boom, there you go. This became your support. And now it goes back up again. See that? Comes back down again, and then there goes your support. Goes back up again, support. You see now there's your support now and it just keeps going in backwards. See, keep going up and down. This one came back inside and this is what the market is tricky. A lot of traders tend to do this. Don't do that. Just leave exactly what you found on the weekly and don't mess with it. Okay, so now this became resistance, right? You could just see it. Resistance, click how it came back down. Resistance again, right? This became support. It could just keep going back and forth. 
so far we're in this area before I press play so now we go to the daily and see do we find anything else that it's kind of hovering or messing with us with the eye we don't we don't see anything else so those are big levels major weekly levels that you know that once it breaks it moves the ticker or stock really crazy in amount look at it just look from 112 back to 110 an AMD that's a good amount and that's $12 move right so now we go to the four hour and they got the four hour they got the four hour is coming inside these ranges okay so now what do we do what do, what, what goes through our head here you're gonna be like oh well, how do I know it's not it's gonna come back down that's what the four hours for in the four hour you want to find another level of resistance and for what I do here is that since I know it broke out of this level I want to find is it gonna stop me out like this is it gonna come down exactly like how this thought how this day it came down right drop back down or right here so what do I do we go to the four hour and we find the level what's going on so far a level that I do see here it's this this one broke down came back up it bounces here touches up again you see that so what one good thing that could kind of get you the easiest way is finding the obvious candle that you find to your eye for me the obvious candle that I see is where it touches here right and it bounces back up but you see when it broke down here okay so look I'm gonna put a for me I'm, I'm color blue after that we see another one where that big range came in right so now look what happens in between this you see how it's jumping up and down breaks down holds jumps down again so you have two levels there two levels and then now we do it at the top also there you go one more here right and then one more here and then one more other one right on top of this section a lot of traders tend to go back all the way back to some other day but even notice since price action happens again how so supposedly what everybody says that whatever happens back in the past happens in the future now let's see if that's true let's go back this is the future right we're in the future we go back and look how those levels reacted see broke out came back inside held and that's the one from before back in 2021 this is 2023 now you can see how it works out four hour levels that's it that's literally it so then now obviously you want it broke out now so what do you want to do let's go to your 15 minute time frame and just wait for that entry you see it's still on the 15 minutes it's still below that level it's holding but if you go to the four hours and you see it that it might come back down this is showing me weird positions because of trading view but let's say you wanted to get puts where would be a good position to get puts you can see on the four hour how buyers are really buying stuff here and there's more levels more touches also there see that touch 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 again let's put it a little bit more lower by the wick it's bouncing off right bouncing off again 107 107 comes down breaks down 107 it comes back down to the ground to the support area right so these are called basically your micro levels is the same thing as supported resistance but i do want to label the bigger ones that we found in the weekly more a different color just so i can know that we know already in basic how we saw i showed you earlier we know that it tends to do this right the only thing that we're doing those little four hour levels is because that's gonna stop the ticker especially if you're day trading so now let's see go to the 15 minute and let's put play <clears throat> So what happened here? It broke out of the level, came next to the next one. It didn't hold, came back down. You could have taken profits off of this move. This is a $2 move. Comes back down. All you need to know that once it comes below here, you're able to take positions to the downside. And look. Did your position hold? Did a fake out? This is the thing that people get confused. Don't this is why if you guys heard stop loss risk management this is where this comes in literally this is where you need to know when to get out when your level doesn't hold you get out this is just on the bigger time frame you should see a wick you see 
that's all you see when the candle closes on the 15 minute you just see this it'll fake you out if you got in some pits here you put a stop loss right above the candle this red candle you put it and you get out and then now you know okay it came back actually probably hold this resistance now and this could become green because we saw that on the weekly which could come straight down straight up to 119 and reject what happened came back up see those fake outs that's what I said don't get into puts as long as it goes below 107.55 for me when I see stuff like this honestly I don't get in and this is the 15 minute time frame I don't get in because I want to see more movement and I know that if it does fall below 107 I'll catch a bigger move okay so you gotta be able to be strict on that and that's the thing that happens that when you use these levels you start getting all like jittery and everything's like oh what's going on what's going on and you start putting another level here you start going crazy over it you start putting here another one or you think you're wrong or you think like something's messing with you or what's going on no if you would have followed the rule don't go put as long as it don't go below 107 you would have been fine like i said you could enter below here but you need to know that your stop loss will be above a candle that's what i use candle this red one above my stop loss looks stopped out put another candle there another stop out there you go until it actually holds position and it keeps holding 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 pumps up and there's your play so now let's go really fast to the one hour so you guys can see how these levels that were made we go back to the future where we are now let's keep moving forward we're in March here. Look how I broke down that level. See what happens here? Look. Look at that. It broke down. That 107. It just came straight down to 100. Literally came back straight to 100. Look at that. Look at that move. So now obviously we didn't track the rest. But let's go see where we're at right now. Let's exit this. And let's see what's going to happen. What's going on with this? Hold on, it's freezing. Market is currently still open as I'm doing this video. Okay. So AMD, we're way below. So now we do our four hour levels here. Really quick, market is still open. You can see here, this is the level that it was causing resistance, right? Did that that was your resistance i mean your support that was the, the support here and that was the resistance there okay so now we got another level all the way up here right that's the four hour or the weekly on the weekly you can notice that there's something ranging on this area so let's fix this really fast four hour can reject there and that's our levels see let's go to the 15 minute what happened here came back inside coming straight up to 75 and this was all today so now break above that 75 19 we go straight up to back to this area where you'll find on the four hour i'm not, I'm not trying to chart it really fast right now but there you go right and that will be your blue level just i have it blue you can put whatever color you want and we have the range all the way back to 79 79.90 so hopefully you guys learned what i'm talking about so far this looks really good just by the candle that is engulfing this whole three that's a nice bullish engulfing candle on the daily right yep the daily is just looking good looking really good it could move up to 79 if you want to learn about the candles there's another video that i have up there talk about it. talk about it. i'm talking about candlesticks sorry about that and yeah just trade with these levels four hour and the daily if you see anything on the daily sometimes the daily you see how these daily looks weird that's what i was mentioning earlier 
this daily looks a little off the weekly looks a little bit better right and the four hour looks way better so that's the levels that's hopefully you guys learn something and just basically wait the market's about patience 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 just wait on it let it come to you so now even if you miss this move i caught it at the bottom if it breaks out that 7510 we could take some calls or go long to 7709 and 7901 all right you guys take care have a good one